This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. It's a pretty uplifting question. It's about snail deaths. So in this um, experiment, we're showing that a scientist is collecting snails for a genetic experiment, snails of different types. So some of them have stripes, some of them don't. And we're going to see the death rate. So we want to see, um, in this question, they're asking us to look at the, at the data in tables 1 and 2 and determine that in a population of this X207 snails, so the snails, the type of snails that they're using, um, we're going to look at the snails with a single stripe and determine when all of them would be dead within. So if we look at our table, we're going to look at table one, so we're looking at snails with a single stripe. We see that almost half of the population, so this is percentage of population, is dead within 30 days. And if we look at table two, uh, um, if we look at our one stripe snail, we see that 60% is dead within 31 days. So if about 50% is, is dead in 30 days, we want something that's a little, that's about double 30. So we want something in the 60 range. So if we look at our choices, 20, it's um, not even half will be dead, 40, a little bit more than half, 52.5, not quite double, 65. So this is a reasonable amount because if about 50% are dead within 30 days, then 65 gives you even more leeway. So they should all be dead then. So choice four is correct.